important to underline that this conflict is not about any piece of territory. This is not a territorial conflict. Uh, this is not a conflict about Donbass. Kremlin doesn't care about Donbass. It's not about southeast of Ukraine. This conflict is about an, an ambitious Russia's goal, uh, which only one part is to fully subjugate Ukraine as a state. Uh, the part of the Russian strategy is basically to restore the control over so-called post-Soviet area, which Russia considers its natural sphere of influence. Uh, it considers that as a precondition of its great power status to control this space, and Ukraine is the most important part of it. So the first element of the plan was to restore fully that control uh, with a quick operation which is supposed to last about two weeks and uh, which is supposed to be uh, finished with the taking of Kiev and changing the Ukrainian government into a new pro-Russian government. Uh, that, that was most probably part of only the beginning of the further plan, which was then to start negotiating after takeover of Ukraine with uh, the United States and with major European st states uh, for their concessions uh, uh, concerning the European security. Because the second aim of Russia was and is to dismantle the current European security order, uh, including creating a security buffer zone in Central Europe. Uh, and the, the other part of the plan is to get rid of US presence from Europe to create a wedge between uh, United States and European countries. Uh, that goal was actually pretty openly laid out with two documents which Russians have presented uh, to Karen Donfried, Assistant Secretary of State of the US, visiting Moscow in December 2001, uh, draft treaty on security with United States, and draft treaty on security with NATO member states. Uh, both documents consisted a huge list of Russian demands, which ineffectively would mean that Ukraine would be stripped of the uh, sovereignty, uh, the Central Europe would be uh, partly demilitarized, and the United States basically would uh, withdraw uh, militarily at least from Europe. Um, the Russian game, however, has failed, as we all know. So uh, this quick successful operation has completely failed due to Russian inability to uh, assess properly the situation. Uh, for systemic reasons, Russians were underestimating both the Ukrainian resistance and the will of the West to uh, act in solidarity and to provide Ukrainians with political, financial, and military support.